Hi. Hi. So you okay? Yeah, you. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I knew you would be. <laughs> what do you mean you knew I would be? It's just that you're always late. I'm not always late. Okay, you're not. You were early. Hi, right, can I get you something to drink? Yeah, uh, mineral water, please. Sparkling is still. I don't mind. Oh, uh, sparkling, please. It's a nice place. Yeah. I haven't been here before. It's not long enough. Frank told me about it. So how was it? What? Your leave. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was okay. I was surprised you just took off like that. I, I just felt like getting away. Where did you go? I just took, drove down to Wales. And, you know, so got a place there. The family. And what sort of place? A village? Small town? It's just a cottage. Sure. When are you going to get bored teasing me about the money? I don't know. It still feels kind of fresh and challenging at the moment. Frank said uh, the seafood's good. I didn't think you were going to turn up. Why? Because I know you find some things hard to talk about. Then something has happened. <laughs> or at least I think it has. And, you know, I think we should address that. Which is why I suggested we meet. Because if I remember correctly, the last time we met, you kissed me. You kissed me? Well, at least we're going to be adult about it. It was a mistake. Oh. That was a mistake. Yeah, it should never have happened. Is that it? It was a mistake. It won't happen again. Let's order some scoff. It's unprofessional. You know it is. Unlike your affair with a married CPS solicitor. Come on. If Howard thinks something's going on, he'll, he'll move one of us out. No question. Do you want to go back to uniform? No. Me neither. Is that all? What do you mean, is, is that all? Is that the only reason? Isn't that enough? Well, I'm glad you think that because, um, you know, I've been thinking about some stuff and, and for my part, I realised that after Will, you know, the way that ended, well, that brought up loads of stuff about what a bastard my dad was, you know, cheating on my mum, leaving like that. And, well, I just don't think I'm, I'm ready to start a new relationship just yet. <laughs> Particularly a very difficult one. <laughs> such as this promises to be. Will was a wanker. But no, Will was steady and reliable and that's what I needed. Until he started having sex with his secretary. You ready to order yet? No. What is this, McDonald's? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, that's how I feel. You know, I just wanted to be honest. Have you thought about changing partners? No. Well, I was thinking maybe we should think about that. Well, if you think that's a good idea. But, you know, what about Howard? I mean, the last time I wanted to change partners, he wanted to know why. He made a fuss. You tried to change partners? Yeah. When was this? <laughs> At the beginning. I thought you were a wanker. I wanted to ditch you. <laughs> I never wanted you as a partner. Yeah, I know. I heard you complaining to Howard about it. And then you denied it to my face. Did just friends then? Yeah. Just friends.
Potato Head wants to see me. Chief Inspector Potato Head. <laughs> oh, good. Come in. I had Ross Jones on the phone after lunch. Councillor? Oh, Mrs. Whitehouse. That's right. Oh, she was walking past that sauna out by the station last night and uh, it's still open apparently. Yeah. When are we supposed to close it down? Well, we did some research on it a while back, but, uh, you know, there was a lot going off, so, you know how it is, priorities. Yes, and uh, where is it now? That's well, where it belongs, in my bottom drawer. Well, I'd like it out of your bottom drawer today. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Mrs. Whitehouse, she may be, but she has the ear of the Chief Constable. There's another overdose at the Royal today, a young teenager. They say she'll pull through, but you know, it's touch and go. Yes, I know what you're saying, and I agree, but it won't take you long, so just get it sorted. Young people are dying out there because someone's putting uncut heroin on the streets of Liverpool, and you want me to waste my officer's time closing down a factory massage parlour because they'd offend some prudish councillor? It's our bloody job, Jones, and I don't give a damn whether you like it or not. My job and yours is to assign priorities to problems, and this is a load of bollocks. Don't you tell me my job. Well, obviously somebody has to. This is a disgraceful decision. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Look, get it done. Get it done now. Will I hell? This is all about your bloody promotion. That's what this is all about. Sucking up to that cow because it's got the ear of the chief constable. Jones, you take that back. Bollocks! Where are you lock on? The price has been down to the road to see the overdose girl. Yeah, she gave us a good name where she got the stuff. Could be solid. Well, we can drop that for now. Let's concentrate our minds on the sauna up by the station. What? Oh. You heard Joanna? What's happened to the sauna? The sauna? Joanna, you're DS. What's happening with it? Uh, well, we need one more hit before we can go for the warrants. Well, okay, get it done. What? Get a man in there, get someone to offer him sex for money. Get back here, get a statement, get a warrant from the magistrate, plan the raid, execute it. Simple. What is wrong with you? What have I done? Is this Hill's idea or what? For God's sake, Howard, the sauna's a waste of bloody time. Don't you tell me what's a waste of bloody time, Frank White. If you'd spend more time on the job and less time on some bloody moose, we'd have sorted this sauna by now. I want the evidence and the raid done today, tomorrow at the latest. What about the overdose? Well, just do the bloody sauna! Bollocks to the sauna! We got overstrength smack all over town! God, this is sick! Don't tell me my job! Just do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Go on, get out! Go on, get out! Not now, Kelly. That close to chilling the bastard, I tell you, that close. Let's just get it done if that's what he wants. Do you not ever, ever do anything? We're waiting for someone, okay? Why are you such a sad, pathetic little weasel, Tomachevsky? Hey, you watch your mouth, fatty. You come with that once more, pal. I'll put you down where you stand. Come on then, fatty, hit me. Oh, yeah, keep out! Are you putting your hands on a superior officer, Callahan? Do your work, Tomachevsky. Can I speak to you a minute? Wasn't it? Yeah. That is Mrs. John Sullivan. Listen, by the time you came by the school, I bit your head off. Forget it. No, I wanted to say sorry. Look, can I see you sometime? Buy your dinner? Lunch? Expensive. Drop dead. You still got all the bastards' credit cards. I'll call you. Kelly! Am 
not doing it. Why not? I hate those controlled wanks, you know I do. Well, it can't be me or Paulie. Frank will do. Hey, I did the last one over the nosy that time. Listen, Tally, it's your turn. I don't like doing them either, you know. I'm no good at that shit. Why not? Listen, I'm your DS, and I'm saying you're doing it. No. Listen, make your excuses and get out, you'll be fine. No. No, don't worry, they're always ugly. No. Okay, okay. Under the circumstances, I am prepared to offer you a 50-50 chance. Well, I'm not. Yeah, I think Callie should go in. Uh, let the coin decide. Well, it's his turn. Shut up to Polly. Well, Frank did the last one in Nosley. Call, heads. I want a massage. I don't think you need one. It's been a bad day. Michelle. What's your name? Tomaszewski. Is this your first time, Mr. Tomaszewski? Nope. Well, if you'd like to get undressed and lie on your front, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> so, uh, how did it go? Lunch with Callie. Great. Great, thanks. How great? Well, we got things straightened out, you know. Yeah? Good. Good. We're just going to be friends, sort of thing. Uh-huh. You know, it was good to get it out in the open. Yep. Discuss it properly. What total utter bollocks. Well, well, what happened? Nothing. She looked her hands up and down my back for five minutes. That was it. You're kidding. Fifteen quid. I'm not going to tell Howard that. Oh, terrific. Give us the money. Something special? Well, something special is what we have. Michelle! What's your name? They call me Callie. Callie? Mm. Is this your first time here then, Callie? Oh, no. No, uh, I'm a firm believer in the... The medicinal benefits of regular massage. Is that right? Yeah, I see myself as an apostle, you know. What's your name, love? Michelle. Michelle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exotic. That's me. So you're off work today then? Yeah. Yeah, I work nights mostly. Yeah? Mm. Doing what? Oh. <laughs> Um, um I'm, I'm a chef. A cook? No, my dear. A chef. My speciality is seafood. Yeah? Well, where'd you work then? Well, I'm opening a new place in town next month. The humble crustacean and I are partners in a bone. Oh, yes, yes. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, you can turn around now. That was the basic stress relief massage. Oh. But we do offer a supplementary course of therapeutic manipulation. <laughs> My God. It's a brothel. 
Let's go. Frank. How'd it go? Oh, no problem. Uh, I've just done my statement. Paul is going to get the warrants and Callie's going to organise the raid. Good, good, well done. Uh, it's bollocks, I know, but it had to be done. Now. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about what I said before. I didn't mean it. I had hair on me back, you know. Okay. By the way, what was that bastard Tomachevsky doing over there? He's up for a job. No. Yeah, I get it as well. He did a good interview. Bollocks. What job's that, then? Your boss. What? Yeah, well, we need a permanent DS, you know. Joe's only acting. Oh, no. Oh, no's right. There's nothing I can do about it. You just better watch your step. If you get a move on, you can do the raid this shift. Another classic operation coming up. Look, haven't you got anything better to do? Where's the owner? Look, I just do the desk all right. The owner. <sighs> well, well, well. Oh, Christ. A shoe sniffer. What's going on? Well, Tony, your premises are being used for immoral purposes. No. And you, Tony, are living off immoral earnings. Again. This is a bona fide establishment. Really? Well, we have statements from three undercover officers saying they were offered sexual services on your premises. No. How could they do this to me? I gave those girls a break. A career and aromatherapy massage, and this is how they repay me. <laughs> so what, so you're saying you knew nothing about this? As God is my witness. Better call your lawyer, Tony. Sorry, you bastard. Well, if that's a story, we're going to have to get one of the girls to come. Yeah, let's just wait and see what they say when they hear how loyally Tony's stuck by. Hi, I'm D.S. McMullen. This is D.C. DePauli. We're from Bridewell. Listen, I know the score. You can't charge us unless we've had two previous cautions, which none of us have. So you've got to let us go. Oh, that's right. We don't want to charge you anyway. We want Tony. So, we'd like one of you to make a short statement saying that Tony hired you to do the punters, yeah? And why should we? Well, for a start, Tony's saying that you organised all the shagging and he knew nothing about it. Yeah, well, he would say that, wouldn't he? Think about it, Mandy. We're city centre vice. We do you a favour and you might need that one day, hey? Oh, yeah. We're not saying anything. We want to go home and you can't stop us. I'll make a statement. Michelle, Tony will kill you. But what he said, that's not right. I want them to know the truth. Yeah, boy. This was a shit sniffer I just saw heading for the cells. Yeah, yeah, Frank and Callie are with him. Of course he's denying it all, but one of the girls is making a statement. Joe's taking it now. Shoe sniffer finally bites the dust, eh? Excellent. <laughs> Listen, Howard, you know I've got that, uh, that meet tonight, you know, the business with them. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll cover for you if anything comes up. Joe, what's up? You better come down. I had sex with Frank White this afternoon, and I want that on the record because it's not right. I mean, you want to bust us, fine, bust us. But don't go playing at both ends, do you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And okay, I work in a massage parlour. I'll take the consequences. But he's a busy, and it's not right, do you know what I mean? How'd you know it was Frank White? I did not first. He said his name was Callie, and that threw me. And last time I seen him, he never had his little beard. And his hair was all short and slick back. And he was thinner then, too. He looked pretty different. I was on top of the bastard before I recognised him. So it's possible you're not actually positive it was him? No, I am. I was at school with Georgie, his daughter. 
She's a friend to mine. It's not right, you know. Stupid, stupid bastard. He'll be gone this time, won't he? Get Frank up to my office now. Lie. Why would she do that? How should I know? Uh, she's a pal of Georgie. She wants to screw me up. How should I know? What does it matter? It matters to me. You're one of mine and there's going to be all hell to pay for this when Hill gets in tomorrow morning and hears about this, he lit the bloody room. Yeah, but it's their word against mine. Well, what are they going to investigate? There's no proof. Howard, Howard, she's lying. She's trying to screw me up. It's not as if you haven't got enough people out to get you. Oh, oh, so you're going to take the word of some slapper against mine? Well, it's not exactly out of character, is it? I didn't do it. Well, I'm innocent. Hill's been out together for months, you know that, you know it. She's lying. How could you be so bloody stupid? I didn't know you were asking that. What the fuck were you thinking about? You let me down. You've let us all down. And this time, I've had it. You're on your own. Kelly, I tell you. If they try and get me on this one, I'm packing it in. I'm not going back to uniform, and I am not going to see my time out on some desk for a pension. I'm gone. Let's go for a drink. Tonight. I didn't feel like going out. Where's your wife? She's left me. Taking the kids back to her mother's. Didn't Callie mention that? No. I'm sorry. Me too. Is she gonna let you see the kids? I'm not going to live to see John and Sarah grow up. That's a fact. I'm not complaining. A career like mine. You make enemies. You expect a knock at the door one night. The time I've got left with them, though, nobody's going to take that away from me. I'm going for custody. And do you think you stand a chance? What, with a reputation like mine, you mean? That is what I mean, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to pay some bastard off, that's for sure. I saw her today. Your wife. Yeah. Callie's been looking after her. She still loves him, you know. Deep down. Always has. In retrospect, I think I made a mistake stealing her off him. Sometimes she'd get angry. She'd say, you never loved me. He only wanted me because I was going out with Callie. Sometimes wonder how true that is. You've never been here before, have you? You want to tour? No. Come on, then. Do you know how much vulgarity like this costs? I know what paid for it. I'm a businessman. An importer. As it happens, I've imported heroin and cocaine. But they're just commodities. It all used to be legal. And in time, I have no doubt it'll all be legal again. 
It's just a question of perspective, that's all. I work the estates. I got a different perspective. What you see on the estates, and I know what I'm talking about, is poverty and despair and a lack of opportunity. That's the problem. Everything else is just a symptom. Well, that's okay then. And this is the master bedroom. Oh, I don't believe it. The bastard handle's gone again. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, there. Couple of right bastards, those two. Snuck out of Dublin one night in 1922 with a lot of money in the suitcases. We don't know the full details, but the British Army of Occupation weren't too happy about it, and neither were the IRA. Set up here as bookies in 1925, and the rest is history. The one on the left, my granddad. The one on the right, Callie's. Aha. Is this where they all end up? Would you like to see the bathroom? It's all Italian marble in there. So is this what it's all about? I bring a bird back here, show you money, make a move. Ooh. Confrontation. I'm feeling confrontational today. You always feel confrontational. I just like to know where I stand. Very soon I'm going to call you. Might be tomorrow, might be next week. I don't know yet. And when I do, I'm going to tell you about a petrol tanker that's coming from Belgium to Liverpool. Except there's not much petrol in it. The one condition is that you pick it up before it gets to Liverpool. Why? Don't ever ask me that. Millions of pounds worth of cocaine and heroin. Law and order triumphs again. So what's in it for you? I was never unfaithful to Sue, you know. Ever. Well, I'll put that in my report. I'm tired. Are you going to stay the night? Three beds. I feel more at home on sofas. See you at work then. Nice to see you again, sir. Yeah, I'll have a mineral water, please. How many of them have you had? Three. And I'm having another. Oh, I hate that pretty hen look. What do you need to? Well, that's a small talk out the way. I know you want something. I just need to talk to someone. Is that so bad? I'm not taking John any messages. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to him anyway. Fine. Why are you being so horrible to me? Listen, you 
you've got your head. <laughs> Two great kids. And you never have to work again if you don't want to. You want to think about that more often. Sam, you're not interested in what I could tell you about John? Don't fight him, Sue. Take what you need, go quietly. He wants the kids. Then you're going to have to give him the kids. I'm just a girl from Hamilton. I thought it was. I, I thought it would be exciting. Paige Moss. Oh, what? You're from Paige Moss. You only moved to Hamilton when you were 13, when your half fella got a job with the insurance company. Prior to that, you lived in Paige Moss. What are you talking about? You're a snob, is what I'm talking about. If I'd inherited the money when we were going out with each other, We'd be married with kids now. But I had no money. I was wearing a uniform. John was driving around in his first Ferrari. That was your choice. Jesus, you carry a crutch. Well, I can't unscrew your life for you. I thought you were my friend. I am. Don't fight him, Sue. Don't talk about his business. And don't drink Bloody Marys at lunchtime. Look, I've got to go. Where's Frank? In his hell now. And I want a coffee. Okay. Well, here we are again. This time a routine job is compromised by tainted evidence and turns into an expensive and embarrassing inquiry. I'm suspending DC White until the allegations against him can be fully investigated. There's no knowing how long that will take. His future, whether he has one or not, is something we'll be addressing at the time. In the meantime, Birkenhead have agreed to release D.S. Tomaszewski ahead of schedule, so he'll be joining you in a couple of weeks' time with a brief from me to tighten up discipline and get more consistency into your performance. Personally, I'm sad to see Frank White go, but there it is. So let's all try and learn from his mistakes. Girl retracts her statement against Frank, or this will go away. She's not going to do that. She's on a mission to tell the truth, set the record straight. And it was us that talked her into it. Jesus. You get caught trying to model that girl, you know. You'll be gone, same as Frank. You know, we shouldn't be doing that shit in the first place. Oh, so suddenly, it's my fault. You come on to Paulie. This is Frank's mess. It was a simple operation and he's found a new way of flowing it. Christ, the guy's already in therapy for his shagging. Why don't we get the impression you're not as upset about this as you should be? It's not you that's had to put up with the shit all over the years, is it? Oh, so that's just it then, is it? Goodbye, Frank. Ah, oh, shut up, you two. <laughs> well, forget about Frank, he's history. I feel as bad about it as you do, but there's nothing we can do except go home, come back to the next shift. Life goes on, I've got more important things to think about. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'll speak to the girl from the massage parlor. You talk to Frank's daughter, see if she'll help. I wonder where he is. He'll be okay. Same again, Alex.
Mum said you were there. Oh, you're a busy and all then? Yep. Look, you're not going to arrest me, are you? Because I'm picking up my little girl to embarrass me. No. I knew there was something weird about you. I thought you were a serial killer then, or a rapist. <laughs> Can I talk to you in a minute about your statement? Look, I just told it like it was. Well, I understand that. I just wanted to tell you we might need to get in touch again. Why? What about? It's going to be a full inquiry about what you said. It is. God, I thought you'd just stick it all under the carpet. Frank's been suspended. He's going to lose his job. Uh, and what about me losing my job over you raiding us? What about that, eh? I've got a little girl to support. Me and my man. You think that's easy? You think people like you make it any better? You're not even supposed to be here, are you? He's been a good friend to me. Frank. Hello, love. Hello. Come on, let's go out. Hi. Uh, the manager says you're a Georgie. Yeah. Oh, no, don't worry, it's not official. I'm Pauling. I'm a friend of your dad's. No, I, I mean, I'm a colleague, just a friend. And I like him very much. Listen, can we uh, take a break somewhere for a few minutes? No, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Well, what it is, is this. Um, you know Michelle Lynch? Yeah. You know, she works in a massage parlour. So? So, she's making allegations that she and your dad had sex. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. And the thing is, is that... He's been suspended because of all of this. And basically, it's going to finish off his career. Well, it saves him right. Obviously, I'm not allowed to ask you to talk to Michelle on your dad's behalf, so I'm not doing that. I just wanted to inform you about the situation. Do you know what I hate about people like you? Right, you meet my dad in the pub. Always a life and soul of the party. Everybody loves him. Spine drinks for everyone. But what I remember is the birthdays. Wondering whether he was coming home or not. All the times he was never there. Oh, the excuses and the sorries. The endless sorries. He's got a good heart. Yeah? Then how come he keeps on hating everyone? Anyway. No. Me neither. Thanks. Any other ideas? No. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, what's up? I hope last night won't affect our professional relationship. Uh, yeah, look, I can't really talk right now. I'll call you. You got a problem with that? No. You OK? Yeah, sure. I'm just telling Callie. She'll sniff her wants to see someone. Oh, yeah, what are we with that? Well, the CPS will decide whether Frank's tainted evidence buggers up the case. Shoe Sniffer doesn't know that yet, so don't tell him. Just go down there, see what he wants, and then get back on the overdose scale, OK? Yeah. So, old Fatty's finally gone, then. A fabulous screw-up, even by his own high standards. Excuse me. You're next, Callahan. You're next. All right, Tom Chesky, that's enough. One word with you now. I think Joe's a bit pissed off about being demoted. Just a bit. <laughs> Listen, you, I'm still DS here. So keep your big mouth shut. And don't try threatening anyone in my squad. Okay? Okay. Okay, then.
What is it, Tony? I want to make a statement. A full statement. Okay. Taking extensive legal advice, I am prepared to admit to such of my activities, which may have not been as strictly legal as they might be, even though I am a legitimate businessman investing his own money in the entertainment and leisure industry in this fair city, than the firm expectation of a more lenient sentence. No guarantees. Plus, taking into account my previous excellent character and good behaviour. I like the time you sexually assaulted me. That's a matter of opinion. And kicked me to the ground. And? As part of my policy of openness, I'm also prepared to provide you with a full and extensive list of all my clients over the years. Strictly in the interest of justice, of course. If you need any more details, my legal representative will be happy to oblige. Take a statement, yeah? My, 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 you've got some names here. The best one is second from the bottom on the left. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I think we should let Chief Inspector Potato Head handle this himself, eh? Oh, by the way, just want to see you down in reception. seen the list then? It's a nightmare. It's a bloody nightmare. You think he can back this up? Well, he's a cunning little bastard. I wouldn't put it past him. Anyone can write names on a piece of paper? Mm. We'd have to interview them, of course. All of them. I mean, we can't just pretend it never happened. These names. I mean, dear God. I know some of these people. Very embarrassing. Do you know, I can't help wondering whether it's in the public interest to prosecute this case. I expect Mrs. Whitehouse would agree with you. Especially when she sees her husband's name on the list. But I'll um, leave that with you. I've got work to do. I expect you relish the irony of all this, don't you? I expect you think it's very funny. Not really. Oh, by the way, the prostitute who made allegations against Frank White, turns out she was mistaken. What? Well, she came in to amend her statement. So there's a bit of good news for you. Did we do the right thing? Bailing Frank out again? I don't know. Probably not. You going home? I'm gonna trail around a while, see if I can find him. Mind if I come along? to love. 